definitely a secret that you can talk about that you shouldn't talk about today. Okay, that, well, we're making the movie Hunter. That's going to happen. So, there it is. That's been in the works for like 20 years. That was Sylvester Stallone doing a Q&A on Instagram on May 3rd, 2020. What I found interesting is that yesterday, August 9th, the paparazzi was out taking pictures of Stallone and his family on the beach in Malibu. Now, of course, being the paparazzi, the Daily Mail in this instance, they're generally out to make someone look bad, and they do a pretty good job by posting these very unflattering pics here with the story headline, Rambo gets a beer belly. Sylvester Stallone, 74, displays a fuller physique as he enjoys a family beach in Malibu. <laughs> Now contrast that with what Stallone posted on his own Instagram on the same day. Obviously you're going to only post the most flattering pictures of yourself. The outfits are different and I believe those pics on his Instagram were actually taken a couple of days prior to the ones posted by the Daily Mail even though he posted those on the same day. But speaking of the paparazzi, depending on the day, they tend to make stars look really good or really bad. For example, about a week prior to their latest headline, they had a much more respectful one. Sylvester Stallone 74 puts on a buff display in black as he grabs lunch with wife in Malibu. But all that aside, what I found interesting about the Daily Mail's post yesterday was this picture of Stallone reading the Hunter book. I'd imagine he'd read this book numerous times already as he acquired the film rights to it all the way back in 2009. And you have to figure, over the last 10 plus years, there's gotta be more than a few drafts of the script floating around, either from various writers and or himself. It's interesting that he's getting the source material back fresh in his head. Pair that with his hint at another Rambo movie as recently as July of this year, when Rambo Last Blood Director's Cut was released on iTunes. Sloan obviously loves Rambo as well as the Rocky characters and always seems to want to revisit them. The character in the book, Nathaniel Hunter, shares many similarities with the character of Rambo as well. For example, look how the book describes him. Muscular with a ragged mane of black hair that fell slightly to his shoulders, Hunter seemed to have stepped out of another more primitive age. His eyes were dark beneath a low, hard brow burned by years of living in the wild. His cheeks were sharp above a mouth deeply cast in bronze frown. His broad shoulders, deep chest, and heavy arms were evidence of great strength. That's Rambo. As far as the story itself goes, a beast, a half-human abomination created by a renegade agency through a series of outlaw genetic experiments, is loose somewhere north of the Arctic Circle, and a tracker by the name of Nathaniel Hunter is tasked with taking it down before it reaches civilization. Depending on how close they stay with adapting the novel, there'd be a good opportunity for the supporting cast. Nathaniel Hunter does not seek his savage beast out himself. Instead, the government in need of his service has also assembled an international team of special force soldiers to help track and kill the creature. Some of the more interesting characters would be Bobby Joe, the sole woman and team sniper, as well as Takakura, a Katan-willing Japanese soldier. There's also Buck Joyce, the comic relief of the group, and several other characters as well. So it'd be nice to see Rambo team up again like he did with those mercenaries in 2008's Rambo. Hunter obviously has a lot of potential by itself as a standalone film, but it totally work in the Rambo universe. And let's face it, with all the projects Sloan has lined up, does he really have time to do this as well as another Rambo film, a sequel to Demolition Man, plus all his other projects? Make sure to check my video, I'll link it in the description below about his upcoming projects in the 2020s. The benefit of turning Hunter into a Rambo film is that Rambo already has a pretty large built-in audience. Fans like myself will watch it just because it's a Rambo movie. I also believe fans of the Hunter book will check it out as well just for the curiosity factor alone. It'd also be an exciting take on Rambo in general that could drum up some extra interest for fans who might have lost interest in the character over the years. You got me curious, Rob. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see Hunter as part of the Rambo film series or its own standalone projects.